Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you how to merge two folders on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So I'm going to use List View to demonstrate what's going on. Here I've got inside of one folder two folders, Folder A and Folder B. They both have identical Document 1's. And you can see here I have the Preview pane turned on so you can see what's inside. Document 2 in Folder A is a newer version. I put New Version in it. and You can see the older version is here in Folder B. Document 3 is the opposite. There's an older version here and Folder B there's the newer version. Folder A has a Document 4 that's not in Folder B and Folder B has a Document 5 that's not in Folder A. So the idea is I want to merge these two. I should get Document 1 which is the same between both, then the newer version of Document 2, the newer version of Document 3, and then both Documents 4 and 5 in the final folder. Now one pretty straightforward way to do this is to select all of the files in Folder B. I'm going to use Shift click to select the range and simply drag them to Folder A. Drop them in. Then I'm going to get a hit with this dialog here. In this case it's going to tell me that Document 1 already exists and the options I have are to keep both which would take the one I'm moving and apply the word copy to it and then both would be in the folder. I could stop which cancels all future actions so everything just stops right here. Or I can replace which means that the one I'm moving replaces the one that's originally in the folder. Now there is another option. If I hold the Option key down notice Keep Both changes to Skip. So in this case it would be the opposite of Replace. The version that's sitting there in the folder would stay. The new one would not be copied over. I note that I could apply to all. If I check this that means whatever I select here for everything else that's going to be copied it's just going to apply that. So for instance if I hold the Option key down and go Skip then it would keep all of the existing documents of the same name in that folder and only new documents would be copied in there. If I selected Replace then it would replace all documents that have the same name with the ones I'm moving. And if I use Keep Both it means for every document that has the same name the one that's being moved would move there but with a new name the word Copy being after the original name. Now an alternative is instead of just dragging and dropping into Folder A I hold the Option key down. That gives me the little green plus indicator there saying it's going to make a copy of everything. So now when I do it it seems to be doing the same thing. But instead of files being moved out of Folder B, Folder B is going to remain untouched. So I can still do what I want here. I can say Apply to All and Keep Both. Notice also when I copy instead of the word Copy appearing here ironically I get a number instead. The problem with doing this is that it's hard to just have the newer versions survive during this type of merge. You have to go through each file meticulously and know which one is the newer version. It's not going to tell you. Notice on the other hand if I select one file here like this one and I drag it it's going to actually say a newer item already exists. Or if I drag this one here it's going to say an older item exists. Unfortunately it won't do that. It won't tell you which is newer and which is older when you select several files. So you either have to look at each and every match and determine yourself which one to replace, which one to skip, which is going to be difficult and it's going to be easy to make mistakes. And using Apply to All doesn't really care which one's newer and which one's older. It just looks at them as files that are originally in the folder and files that are the ones being moved in. So you could either say I want to use all the ones being moved in when there's a conflict or all of the existing ones when there's a conflict. You can't go and say I want to use the newer or older ones. But there is one way to force it to always accept the newer version of the file. To do that you need to have folders that have the same name. So we can't do that here. If I try to name this one Folder A it's going to give me an error. It's already taken. So what I want to do is I want to create a new folder and I'm going to call this Temp. It's just going to be a temporary folder. And I'm going to move Folder B into it. I'm going to rename Folder B inside this folder, Folder A. So now they have the same name. Now if I were to just drag and drop Folder A into Folder A it just puts one folder inside the other. 
However, if I were to drag to the folder above, right here, now there's a conflict. I'm trying to move a folder into a location where there's already a folder with that name. And it's going to say do I want to replace the old folder or not. It still doesn't help us. However, if I hold the Option key down when I do this, indicating I want to copy, this is what happens. I get the same Stop and Replace but now I get this Merge button. This is kind of the hidden feature here. What Merge will do now is it will combine the two folders and only keep the newer items. So now I'll select Merge and now if I look at Folder A I've got Document 1 which was the same. I've got the newer Document 2, the newer Document 3, I've got Document 4 which was only in A before, I've got Document 5 which was only in Folder B before and everything's just like I want it. At this point all I need to do is get rid of the temporary folder with the old copy of all those files. Now I have my merged Folder A. Of course in many situations you're not going to have to deal with the temporary folder. Folder B is actually going to be a folder of the same name and it's going to be maybe on an external drive, a flash drive, maybe it's on a server, maybe it's in your downloads folder, something you just downloaded. It's already going to be in a different location and already going to have the same name as the folder you're merging with. So then it's simply a matter of holding the Option key down and dragging and dropping one folder on top of the other. So that's how you merge two folders on your Mac. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.